Brendan Hepler, uh, everyone knows now as Bean, came to the Uptown Music Collective when he was pretty young. Uh, he performed with us for a while, and uh, then he moved on to some other places, and then he came back in high school and was heavily involved for uh, several years and uh, directed shows, big part of the performance program, and definitely influenced the growth of the collective, particularly the performance program and how the other kids view it. Some people have that golden voice. As soon as they open it up and start to sing, you're like, wow, that's something. And he was like that as a very young man. That never changed, it's only gotten better. Um, he plays piano, he plays a little bit of guitar, but his primary thing is, is his voice. He would always sing around the house, even at an early age, four or five years old. Um, it was really probably when he got into the middle school age, 13, 14 is when he uh, really started taking a major interest in, uh, in music. When American Idol reached out to him, I'm assuming that they saw some of his stuff that he had on Instagram. American Idol flew him out to Ojai, California. Uh, back in the middle of November, and that's that's when he auditioned to see if he would be able to get a golden ticket to move on to Hollywood Week. I mean, every different step of the of the journey, it was getting more and more surreal for us as his parents, uh, really as the whole family. Kind of the neat thing about it was a lot of the early shows were taped, uh, so we knew ahead of time uh, the outcome of it. Um, so it made Sunday nights a little bit easier to watch because we knew what was going to happen next. We never knew what the judges said, uh, so that was always very interesting to hear what they were saying about, you know, your, your, your son. It was really probably in the last couple of weeks that Brennan was on the show where uh, Sunday nights got a little more stressful and, um, you know, butterflies in the stomach because, you know, it was kind of left up to America at that point, um, you know, if he was going to move on or not. So. Brennan got saved the week that it went from 16 uh, to 10. Uh, that was the judges' save for that week, which put him into the top 12. Obviously, getting into the top 12 is a pretty impressive thing. And uh, that success for him, just like the success for other former students, makes it um, a real possibility for kids that are here now. They see that um, if he can do it, then I can do it. Brennan will be an inspiration for quite some time. We're big about discipline and preparation. I am tough on demanding. Um, I, I insist that they are prepared and that they know everything that they're going to do and they work it all out and they're prepared when they get on stage and it's not a mystery what's going to happen. By the time you're on stage, it's like a, a good football team. You know, you already know the game plan. You know how to play the, the game. You're just going to do it. So the outgrowth of that is they, they almost all have a work ethic that's very strong. They know that preparation is everything to, to a successful performance. And so they put that work in when the time comes. So Brennan specifically mentioned preparing the last piece that he played on American Idol to me when we talked on the phone the other day about how much time he put in to every single nuance of it. Um, and you know, that's, that's really the key in the end. So I hope that's what they learn from, from us, discipline, preparation. To me, he always stood out. He stood out above every other person in the show. And I drew, truly do not feel it's because I was a stepmom. I truly feel like he just, like his heart was in it. He was completely comfortable on the stage. He just loves it, he loves to perform. He loves to watch people smile. He loves to, he loves to make people happy. Always has, that's Brennan. So he called me Tuesday morning um, and said that he got back home on Monday um, in Boston, was, was home for a couple of hours and the Ellen Show reached out to him to see if he could fly back out the next day and do a taping of the Ellen Show on Wednesday. I took off that day. I took off the afternoon from work that day to be home to watch it. And um, unfortunately, his dad was in Harrisburg, so we couldn't watch it together. But yeah, I watched it and then I watched it again. And <laughs> I actually watched it the whole night. It's very humbling. Uh, as a parent, it makes you very proud, uh, especially when your child is being true to who they are, the kind words the support that we got locally uh, has been extremely overwhelming. To say we're proud of him doesn't even, doesn't even touch the surface. This is something that he's always dreamt of doing. You know, as a parent, it always makes you feel good when you see your child being successful in life and especially being successful at something that they're very passionate about. Brennan was disappointed that even though in all those B-roll moments in Idol, where he talked about the collective and Williamsport. They didn't use that, they used other things. Um, so he talked to me about that when we spoke the last time and I told him that 
that's never that's never what I'm looking for from you. I just you know want to see you succeed. It is cool that so many of them return. They return, and particularly the ones that succeed in music. You know, they always have that feeling they want to give back. My greatest breakthrough is being a husband again. That's why I chose UPMC.